Hello there, my name is Fernando, and I'm the developer advocate here at GitLab. And with every release of GitLab, we strive to enhance our security and governance features throughout the whole software development lifecycle. In this video, I'm going to go over the custom roles and granular security permissions that we've added in GitLab 17.0 and 17.1. Custom roles and granular security permissions allow you to adhere to the principle of least privilege and prevent privilege escalation. Now let's get started and take a look. Within GitLab 17, we've added several improvements to the way that you can manage custom roles. Now, editing a custom role and its permissions can be done without having to recreate the role. In self-managed GitLab instances, administrators can now create roles, but now both administrators and group owners can assign these custom roles. Additionally, many of these actions can now be done through an improved UI. In GitLab 17, we've also introduced many new permissions for creating custom roles, which include assigning security policy links, managing and assigning compliance frameworks, managing webhooks, and managing push rules. These new granular permissions reduce the number of owners needed in a group by allowing you to create a custom role with owner equivalent permissions. GitLab 17.1 introduces even more new permissions for creating custom roles, such as managing merge request settings, managing integrations, deploy tokens, and reading CRM contacts. With every GitLab release, we try to add more new permissions to further help you adhere to the principle of least privilege. When logging in as an administrator to my self-managed cluster, I can now go to the admin area and select settings and roles and permissions from the side tab. This will take you to the UI for creating custom roles. From here, I can select new role and provide my role with a name and a description. Then I'll select a base role, which is the minimum set of permissions that a user will have. Then I can add several custom permissions to further enhance principle of least privilege. For my security auditor custom role, I'm going to select read vulnerability. This will create a guest that can't view code, but can actually see vulnerabilities within the system. Now within my project, I can go to manage members, and then I can go ahead and invite a member to this project. I'll go ahead and add Bob, and then I'll select his role as the security auditor custom role and provide an expiration for this membership for when the security audit is due to be complete. Then I'll click invite and we can see that Bob has been added to our project as a security auditor. Now let's go ahead and log in as Bob. We can see here that we've been added to the project as a guest. When I go into the project, I can't see any code, but if I go to secure and vulnerability report, I can see the vulnerability report for all the vulnerabilities detected within the default branch, allowing me to perform my security audit. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. To learn more about the GitLab 17 and 17.1 17 releases, see the links in the description, and make sure to click that like and subscribe button 